Don't be so bum, Kelly. One day, you're gonna find a guy that loves you just like Frank loves me. Hey, maybe if, if you got a nose job. Don't be silly. She does not need a nose job. If anything, she could use an ass job. Hers is kind of flat. No offense, Kelly. None taken. I'm getting so tired of that bitch Lindsay and her boyfriend. I could get a boyfriend if I wanted to. And my ass isn't flat, is it? Oh. Hey, is this the life insurance place? Yeah, it is. Just come on in the back. Well, I guess you can buy a life insurance policy for your roommate, but uh, it's a little unusual. So the policy would cover, say, an accidental poisoning? Um, yes. The policy will pay you $250,000 upon your roommate's demise. Hmm. This was so cool of you to make this really nice dinner for me and Frank. It must not be easy being the third wheel. Yeah, you know, I, I, I just hope we're not loud, Lindsay and I, when we're having sex in our bedroom while you're by yourself in yours. She's not alone. She has her vibrator. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> no offense. None taken. I'll be right back with some drinks for you guys. <laughs> hey, what's taking flat ass for so long to get the drinks? She's such a loser. Here we go. Three cocktails. <laughs> she said cock. Stop it. <laughs> Kelly is so not a whore. <laughs> no offense. None taken. Now drink up. I'll be right back. <clears throat> hey, what, what? What are you doing? I think she spits in my drinks. What? But you don't spit in mine, do you? No, of course not. <laughs> I'll be right there with your drink, sweetie. What? I didn't lie. I don't spit in his drinks. Hey! What's going on? You guys haven't even started your drinks. Well, we figured since you spend so much time alone anyway, that we would wait for you to get back. Since you don't even have a boyfriend. No problem. Let's have a toast. To dear sweet friends and sudden cash windfalls. How was your drink? A little strong. I think I put too much booze. <laughs> I find this a little troubling that you wanted to meet in the back of this deserted 
alley to collect the uh, life insurance proceeds from your deceased roommate in cash. Uh, really? I think it's pretty normal. Really? Well, you know what else I find troubling? It seems strange that your roommate bought life insurance for you at the same time as you bought life insurance for her. Hmm, that is weird. Yeah, you know what's even more weird? That uh, your roommate happened to mention when she was taking out her policy poison and she died of poison. Another coincidence? Yeah, you know what actually is another coincidence? That you switched the glass with the poison and killed your roommate. Who told you that? Oh, that would be me, sweetie. The cops are actually on their way over right now to bust you. Why would you rat me out? Uh, maybe he wanted to get the $10,000 whistleblower reward for reporting insurance fraud. Plus, you really shouldn't have peed in my drinks. Oh, no offense. None taken.